Hey guys, my name is Leah and I am a sophomore in the college. It's kind of crazy to think I'm already saying sophomore in the college. I feel like I was literally a freshman yesterday. Um, but yeah, so sophomore in the college, um, my major is psychology and I'm also on the pre-med track. And I'm filming for my home right now in New York City. It's been a long summer. Um, feels like summer lasted forever because of quarantine. But we are back. While we are still virtual, we are back. Um, and so today's video, I will be talking about my experience with my first ever virtual internship. So since I am just a sophomore, this was my first ever internship. And I was honestly super surprised that I actually got the position because um, the other girls were going into their junior years and senior years. But nonetheless, I was very excited and um, ready to take this on. And so my internship was with a nonprofit organization called Glamour Gals. And a few years ago, I had heard about Glamour Gals through a leadership conference called Hobie that I went to. Um, and they basically just talked about their mission, what they do. Um, so like I said, they are a nonprofit organization whose goal is to end senior isolation because normally seniors in nursing homes, 60% um, of them face senior isolation. And now because of COVID-19, 100% of them. So Glamour Gals is more important now than ever. And the way that they do this is they go to nursing homes and they give the seniors makeovers, which is so amazing. And now because of COVID, they had to completely pivot their 20 years of service. And so a lot of the things that they did was writing letters to the seniors um, through their My Dear Friend campaign. Um, I also participated in Zoom calls with the seniors and these were the same seniors that I was writing pen pal letters to. So it was really amazing to put a face to the name and they loved talking to us because they just loved that interaction. And so basically the structure of my day was, I woke up at around 8 or 8.30, depending on how tired I was. Um, and then I quickly got ready, got changed. Um, and then I logged on to a Google Hangout in the morning and that was our kind of morning check-in call. And then the director of the internship, Amanda, she gave us some free time um, after she gave us our assignments for the day. But the interns and I, we all ended up just working on a Zoom together, just collaborating, even if it was our own independent work. Um, so we were basically on a Zoom the entire day, which honestly, when you think about it, like Zoom fatigue is a thing, but it didn't seem like we were online. It kind of seemed like we were all together just because, again, we got along so well and created like such an awesome atmosphere to not only get work done, but to have like this constant flow of conversation. And then at the end of the day, we would present what we did for the day, um, or sometimes we would have mentor programs where a lot of people who have gone through the volunteer program with Glamour Gals, they would then, you know, have their own jobs, be doing their own thing and come to talk to all the interns. And it was really amazing. And actually one of the people who came to talk to us, her name was Stephanie, and she is actually receiving her MD, but she's also receiving a PhD. And so she is so smart, so amazing. And she's actually one of the reasons that I ended up switching from just being a psych major and possibly a business minor to going full on pre-med and full psych major. So I am very thankful to Glamour Girls again for that. And because it was virtual, again, so many more mentors were able to talk to us because normally they would have to come all the way to the office in New York, but now anyone was able to Zoom from anywhere around the world. So I would say that probably the most important thing that I got from the internship was how much I value the work that I'm doing having a greater impact on the world, um, just something so much bigger than myself. So like I knew that regardless any work that I was doing for Glamour Girls, while it may have been something just maybe on like a smaller level, like filling out this spreadsheet or um, inputting all these names into this Google form or something, I knew that it was aiding the effort to help senior isolation end and also just to help these girls from all across the country that are volunteers with Glamour Girls that are trying to find their voice in today's world and be amazing leaders. And I would also add that just on a more like general internship level. This was my first ever internship and so I was super, super nervous. Um, I really wanted to do well and I wanted to make a great first impression, um, but I would not have been able to do this without Georgetown. Not only just Georgetown as in my professors, the academics and everything like that, but also just the people that I met. Um, I very much leaned on the people for help when I was writing my resume and submitting my cover letter um, or even just with some minimal tasks, I was able to take some tips and tricks that I learned from other people. And so I, and I'm very grateful to Georgetown that even though I was not on campus as I was applying or even starting the internship, the Georgetown community is still very much there for you um, even though we are doing things all virtually. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Georgetown. And I will see you next time.